for most millions of dollars would set them up for life. And then there are these people. Join us as we count down our picks for the top 10 dumbest lottery winners. For this list, we're looking at the stupidest winners of a lottery jackpot, no matter how big the amount, that blew their money on useless things or dumb decisions. Number 10, Christina Goodenow. Christina Elizabeth Goodenow's name was certainly indicative of her situation. At first, anyway. All seemed good now as Christina won $1 million on a million dollar jackpot ticket, which is something most of us would deem impossible. But wait, this is the dumbest lottery winner's list. So what went wrong? The woman bought the ticket using the credit card of her boyfriend's late mother, which is, you know, a crime. Investigators discovered this faux pas, charged her with identity theft and fraud, took away the money and threw her in jail. Talk about a major buzzkill. Number nine, Jose Antonio Cuatac. Actually, no, this is a buzzkill and a whole roller coaster of emotions. Tony Kwatak was an illegal immigrant living in Georgia when he won $750,000 playing the lottery. Because he wasn't a citizen, he had his boss, Eric Cervantes, cash the ticket for him. However, the Fort Valley business owner kept the money for himself, claiming that he gave Kwatak money to buy the ticket for him. But the story doesn't end there. After suing Cervantes for the money and winning back the $750,000, Kwatak now faces deportation after his undocumented status was discovered. Sounds like there might be a lesson here. Maybe you shouldn't play the lottery if you're living in a country illegally. Number 8. Sharon Tirabasi After having to live on welfare and then going on to later win $10 million, it's understandable that you'd want to splurge a little. However, a woman from Hamilton, Ontario, learned the hard way that there's a big difference between splurging and spending all your money till you have almost nothing left. After Lotto Super 7 winner Sharon Tirabasi spent her truckload of cash on a mansion, fancy cars, designer clothes, flamboyant vacations, and, you know, typical rich people stuff, her stash was all too soon depleted. Nine years later, and she is now working part-time to support her family and living in a rented home with her six children. Number seven, Willie Hurt. Yes, we assume he has been hurting after losing all his money. Okay, we're done with the puns. In 1989, William Hurt won $3.1 million in the Michigan lottery. But rather than use that money to advance his life, he did the complete opposite. Within two years, he was in the middle of a divorce, which took a chunk of his money, lost custody of his children, and had already thrown away most of his fortune on drugs, specifically crack cocaine. Oh, and he was also charged with the murder of his girlfriend. This one is actually kind of sad now that we think about it. Number six, E.B. Roncaioli. While these stories all have unhappy endings, E.B. Roncaioli's is particularly sad. After winning $5 million, E.B. spent the money lavishly, buying her son a house, going on gambling sprees, and giving another son from a previous marriage around $2 million. After carelessly spending their winnings and hiding this, as well as a few other personal problems, Eby's husband, Joseph, was found guilty of her murder. Her via the injection of a lethal concoction of painkillers, alcohol was also found in her system when she died. Much to the chagrin of Eby's family, he was sentenced to only seven years in prison in 2008. Number five, Denise Rossi. When we see selfish behavior like this, it can be hard to not laugh at the misfortune that follows. After winning $1.3 million in the California lottery, Denise Rossi filed for divorce from her husband, Thomas Rossi, without telling him about it, 11 days later. This obviously left him understandably perplexed. Her lack of disclosure was an effort to keep all the cash to herself. But after he found out, Thomas sued Denise, and because she had violated state asset disclosure laws, he was awarded every cent of her $1.3 million jackpot, which left Denise poor and single. What can we say? Karma's a bitch. Number four, Americo Lopez. Workplace lottery pools are a common thing, but they can certainly cause some unnecessary drama. A group of construction workers from New Jersey pooled their money, and one of them, Americo Lopez, had the job of buying the tickets. After they won a hefty $38.5 million in 2009, he cashed in the ticket and kept the winnings for himself and promptly quit his job. After a co-worker did some investigating and found out the truth, though, Lopez was taken to court and ordered to split the money between himself and his five ex-co-workers. Though with such greedy behavior, maybe he should have lost it all. Number three, Michael Carroll. This guy is such an idiot that they made documentary about him. 
Young Englishman Michael Carroll hit the jackpot at only 19 years old, winning nearly 10 million pound, which is roughly 14 million dollar. After claiming that he wouldn't spend the money lavishly, he spent the money lavishly. He bought a 50,000 pound BMW, a Mercedes, a lakeside mansion, steel balls, which he used to catapult into shop windows, and lots of cocaine and hookers. After eventually running out of money due to his excessive partying, the now divorced Lotto Lout has since taken a job in a biscuit factory. Number two, Andrew Jackson, Jack Whitaker Jr. In 2002, Jack Whitaker won an astronomical $314.9 million, which was, at the time, the largest jackpot ever won by a single person in American history. Whitaker chose the cash option of $113 million, but it all went bye-bye. While Whitaker donated large sums of money to charity, he also became careless. He lost $545,000 in cash after thieves broke into his car. His granddaughter's boyfriend was found dead of a drug overdose in his house, with his granddaughter herself also found dead a year later. And he was sued by a casino for $1.5 million in bounce checks. Finally, in September 2006, it was alleged that Whitaker claimed thieves took the rest of his fortune by cashing in multiple checks. Number 1. Evelyn Adams most people would be extremely lucky to win the lottery even once. New Jersey resident Evelyn Adams struck gold not once but twice and in consecutive years, winning a combined $5.4 million. However, she squandered this luck as she was a compulsive gambler and lost most of her money in Atlantic City. She also shared her funds with family and friends. And so, before she knew it, she was flat broke and living in a trailer park. Even though she was being generous, you just can't win the lottery twice and blow it. That's just spitting in the face of luck. Do you agree with our list? Do you know of any stupid lottery winners? For more thoughtful top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos.